Colonial Pipeline announced yesterday that their operations of its line that was hacked last week have resumed. According to a press release, it took several days for the supply chain to return to normal. The 5,500 mile pipeline runs from refineries in Texas through North Carolina and up to New Jersey, supplying around 45% of fuel for the East Coast. Following news of the pipeline's hack, motorists began to panic by filling up their tanks and extra containers. Some photos and videos circulating on social media showed people pouring gasoline into mo multiple storage containers and even plastic bags. The resulting frenzy caused long lines at the pumps Monday evening. Governor Roy Cooper declared a state of emergency the same day, temporarily suspending fuel regulations. According to the Washington Post, 65% of gas stations in North Carolina were dry on Wednesday, and due to the lack of supply, due to the abnormally high demand, the nationwide average cost exceeded $3 per gallon for the first time since 2014. Hamlet City Manager Matthew Christian was able to develop a budget that doesn't raise taxes or fees for residents despite financial woes. The $8.6 million budget keeps the property rate at $0.76 cents per $100 a day, using $419,000 to manage the shortfall. When presenting the budget, Christian told the council that the impact of the change by the county commissioners to the sales tax distribution method from per capita to ad valorem last year was grossly miscalculated and misrepresented to the citizens of Richmond County. Cuts in the budget included new vehicles for the police and fire departments as well as a new street sweeper that council members said during a budget workshop has been needed for several years. Christian said other cuts included social investments like the library and community events. Public safety accounts for the largest chunk from the $5.2 million general fund budget with the police department receiving $1.6 million and the fire department allocated just over $1 million. That's more than $100,000 less than the combined requests from the departments. The budget estimates to receive $920,000 in sales tax revenues, which Christian said is a major drop from previous years. Following a public hearing with no input, the council voted to approve the budget. As executive director of the Richmond County Tourism Development Authority, it's Megan Lambeth's job to bring in visitors. One of her ideas is to lure tourists who visit neighboring Moore County down US-1 to visit Richmond County's museums, restaurants, and natural attractions. For the second consecutive year, the Sandhills Discovery Map, which originally featured locales in Moore County, has included an inset for Richmond County. While the inset is just of downtown Rockingham featuring Discovery Place Kids, Patton's Downtown Grill, the new Richmond Community College campus, Leaf Memorial Library, City Hall, and the Richmond County Visitor Center, it also features arrows pointing to destinations in other parts of the county. One arrow points to US 74 Business directing map readers to Hamlet Depot and Museums, while another points north on US 220 towards Hitchcock Creek, the Wits Outdoor Sports, and the Berry Patch, Lambeth said the latter is a new addition to this year's map. The map also includes Hoffman and highlights the Sandhills game lands. For the first time in more than a month, there are no Richmond County residents currently hospitalized with COVID-19. The last time that occurred was March 31st, according to daily updates from the Richmond County Health Department. Since that time, local hospitalizations reached as high as seven on April 22nd. According to the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services, there were 933 people hospitalized across the state on Tuesday. When we return, we've got your Live at 5 weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. She gets her soccer skills from her mom, her sense of humor from her dad, and her drugs from her home medicine cabinet. Over half of misused medication comes from family and friends. Talk to your children about the dangers of prescription drug misuse. Secure your medication, take regular inventory to ensure nothing is missing, and properly dispose of expired or unused medication. 
Be aware. Don't share. Lock your meds. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. JC's in Rockingham has you covered for used appliances, parts, trailers, and storage. We have one of the largest selections of reconditioned washers, dryers, and refrigerators in the Sand Hills, and we offer free delivery to residents inside Richmond County. Come check out our variety of trailers for any hauling job and our storage buildings for the things you need out of the weather or house. We also carry parts and accessories for appliances, trailers, truck beds, and can order the things you need. That's JC's on South Hancock Street in Rockingham. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. Your Alive at 5 weather report is brought to you by Sunset Slush, Cloud of Titan Ice, located here in downtown Rockingham. Happy Thursday, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Uh, we are back into the usual temperatures that we will be expecting to see in May with 70 degree, uh, seven degree weather uh, for the high. We're kind of close to the 60s today. We did get into it a little bit for the low part of it, uh, but we are going to see it drop back down again some more tonight. Uh, 6 o'clock, 70 degrees, 10 o'clock, 57. Uh, it's not quite as cold as what we saw yesterday, especially not as cold as it was yesterday. We're about, right about where we were uh, for Monday, so we're not too far, excuse me, Tuesday rather. Uh, so we're kind of still around into that warm weather. Uh, not such a bad day at all today. We have a sunset at 8, 13 p.m. with a new moon phase out tonight as well. And as we move forward into Monday with the highs and lows, temperatures are looking relatively the same as they have been today. Fayetteville, a high of 72, low of 47. Rayford, a high of 40, uh, excuse me, high of 72 and a low of 47, with Lumberton seeing a high of 74 and a low of 48. Up in Southern Pines, a high of 71 and a low of 46. So we are breaking into the 70s again tomorrow. A uh, high of 72, low of 46 for Ellerby. Rockingham and Hamlet, high of 72 and a low of 46 as well. Down in Bennettsville, a high of 73 and a low of 47, with Anson County seeing a high of 71 and a low of 48. Once again, party class skies all day long tomorrow. Now, as we take a look at the seven day forecast, uh, lots and lots of clouds and sunshine on the way and temperatures continuing to rise back up and it will continue that upward trend all weekend long and throughout the next week as well. Friday, party class skies, the high of 72 and a low of 46, followed by more party class skies on Saturday and Sunday with Saturday seeing a high of 74 and a low of 50. On Sunday, a high of 75 and a low of 55, and it continues upward from there as well. As we get into Monday, looking even better, a high of 77 and a low of 61. Now, Tuesday, it dropped down just one degree from Monday, a high of 76, low of 63. Not really nothing to worry about. But as we get into Wednesday and Thursday, we hit the 80s once again, high of 80, low of 62 on Wednesday. Thursday with a high of 83 and a low of 63. And there is a small chance of rain for it next Thursday as well. About a 30% chance. We'll keep an eye on that as we move forward. But that's going to do it for the Live 5 weather report. And for tonight's edition of Live 5, of course, for the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or you can download the free R app for your mobile devices. For the Live 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Richmond County.